We continue our special American Idol coverage with more interviews from the season 12 top 10 contestants. Yesterday, you heard from our locals. Tonight, we hear more from them and the rest of the top 10 about this once in a lifetime experience. When I watch you look at me, I think that I. Many of the contestants on this stage have been watching Idol since season one, but never dreamed they would be standing here 11 seasons later. Win or lose, I've made top 10, and that's amazing. Like, already I'm so proud I get to be on tour all summer. So I think that this has just been such an amazing learning experience. It's, it's such an amazing opportunity because I feel like it's the best way to get your music out there. It's a platform for your, you, you know, you as an artist. It's not all glamour. With every compliment comes criticism. It's, it's really um, difficult to sway people's thoughts about you. And I think it's important for people to know that TV is TV and editing is editing. The public is one thing, the judges another. But the contestants say they welcome all their comments. The best advice that he gave me was last the, uh, a week can go when when I song Keith the song, he said that that wasn't the right song for me, and I know now that to, just because you like a song that doesn't mean that, that you can sing it well. And I take it. I don't want them to be positive. I want them to give me some kind of feedback so I can grow. Yeah. One down, nine to go before we know if one of our locals or another talented contestant will take the idol crown. Now, if you missed any of my special coverage from Los Angeles, we have stories under the American Idol section of our webpage. Also, tune in throughout the season. We're going to bring you more interviews from your favorite contestants. And right now